Welcome guys, it's Danny Glover from Fire Fan TV Live here with the one, the only, the first time on the Fire Fan TV Live. Ben Shalom, how are you doing tonight, sir? Great introduction. I enjoyed that. No, I'm very good, obviously. That was uh that was an incredible night. Incredible performance. And I'm gonna have a very happy journey home. I'm looking forward to going and seeing Tyler in the changing room. Fucking yeah, best performance he's had. But he just steps up every time. Similar to Chris Bill and Smith. Every time steps up, everyone bet against him. He gets better and just ri raises the level all the time. He's established himself at European level and has to look further to world level now. But um, yeah, I'm feeling very good after that. So Tyler Denny just uh, defended his European title against Felix Cash. Um, on the replay, it looked like it was done by a punch, but for some reason they went to the scorecards and um, went to uh, the decision. I couldn't... I couldn't see, I thought, I'd seen him hit him that many times, because they said it was a head clash in the second round. Yes. But I'd seen him hit, him hit him that many times, I was thinking, then I was thinking, hang on, what's going on here? This is a classic home promoter, whatever. Obviously, it was many rounds up, but yeah, it's a shame he didn't get the, the stoppage, but I didn't want to say anything. You're telling me now. I couldn't really understand what was going on. He seemed to suggest it was a it was a head clash from many rounds ago. Luckily, he's come away with a win. It's a shame he didn't get the stoppage. Yeah, they put it on the screen up top, and it showed it was a punch. So, really, Tyler Denny should have three stoppage wins because we saw the first time back on Channel Five against River Wilson Bent that was a punch, but they somehow scored it a technical draw for him. So, yeah, I think we might have to make a new ring name for him, like uh, the Razor or the Blade, because he's just slicing guys up in there. But also, do you think this win? has now solidified because you know there's been rumours of people saying you don't want to put your fighters against other promoters all this purse bid stuff but now your fighter has come over to another promotion uh, do you think that's kind of sort of squashed that away now? I think so look people will still say it's because of this or it's because of that sometimes it just depends on where the fighters are out is in his in his career and it comes down to the fighter so they want the fight does the management team want the fight we wanted this fight we bid it we expected to win we lost we came over and it's a fantastic win what i'm glad about is that the communications lines because of this seem to be more open and there seems to be more dialogue and that can only be a good thing and that's what we wanted from the start so with those good communications, I see someone like Turkey Al Sheikh talking about his boxing league. So are you open to do, you know, boxer versus Matrim or Queensbury? Love to, love to. I think uh, so. It's one nil now. I'm sure I, there's a there's a few to come. I think this year that that should happen. Um, but yeah, we'd love to do that. I think it's a great idea, and it, and it keeps the fighters active. It keeps the fighters competitive. It keeps the the fighters. You know, tonight Tyler's got an amazing night, and uh, and it's been delivered by Matchroom, and that's fantastic. So hopefully there's more there's more nights to come. And last one from me. So Tyler Denny defended his European crown. We've seen that Brad Paul, someone who Tyler Denny's already beat, just had a draw with Nathan Heaney, who he arguably won against, and then the rematch is coming. Do you see Tyler potentially doing a unification against the British champion, regardless of who wins the next the rematch of that? I don't know. To be honest, I wanted to see, and I know it's boring, I wanted to see how we came through tonight. We've got a show on September 28th. I wanted to make sure that he came through this unscathed. It was because it's a tight turnaround. We wanted to check, but we're looking up. We want to look at world level. We want to, like Tyler has established and proven himself now at European level. The story will continue. The fairy tale will continue. As I say, similar story to Chris Bill and Smith in my eyes, where they've had to work hard, come back from losses, work right to the top, be the underdog, be more dedicated than anyone. And now they're seeing their just rewards. And if that's not an inspiration to every professional boxer in this country, then I don't know what is. Okay, thank you for your time, sir. And it's Danny Glover from Firefan TV Live. And remember, guys, we're here with Ben Shalom. Persistence beats resistance. You know what it is. <laughs>